Hey there folks, back at you with another video. Some of you guys watched the, uh, the Ratchet video and um, asked about, uh, you know, some pointers and whatnot on shopping around on eBay. So, well, let's get into that. So, please like and subscribe. It helps the channel out a lot and don't cost nothing. Let's get past the intro. Let's get into this. Alright, so I've got uh, I've got this uh, 3H drive ratchet. Bought it, got it pretty cheap. It's the uh, F720. And uh, <clears throat> I was thinking maybe uh, see if we can expand on uh, on that. So I typed in the uh, the half inch drive, <clears throat> the SL710. Um, seventeen dollars and fifty cents, but that means uh, that the uh, you know they're bidding. Um, it is a top-rated seller, as you can tell. Uh, and this here is a little too steep, if you ask me. This guy wants to have uh, the buy it now price is one hundred and twenty-nine dollars. That's not what we're looking for. We got one here for 50 bucks, 40 bucks. Well, now we're talking 50 bucks, but you got to watch out. There's uh, seven dollars and some oddball cents for shipping. Uh, this guy here has a set that's an extra long one. Let me see if I can hold you a little more steady. Uh, the regular one with an extra long one, so. Uh, SL716 that's 15 inch that's this one right here and the SL710 that's that one um, you can place a bit for 120 if you want to buy it now it's 225 so yeah let's see already been through some of this stuff so I kind of know what we got this the one I'm interested in right here <laughs> It's a full three-piece set. It uh, has the S711A. It's got the uh, uh, SL710 and SL715. So let's uh, let's look at that one. Looks like a nice set right there. And uh, now you can hover over it so we can explode the view don't look like you know they're being used they don't like uh, don't look like they're being fully abused I don't see any uh, mar uh, owner markings on it because that's one of those things that really turns me off I want I don't want to know who uh, used to own the ratchet before me and as you can tell right there all the screws are still there and all intact same thing here and same thing here on that one. Screws are all in good shape. So, looks like that selector switch right there has a little bit of damage, but not too bad. But, um, on top of that, uh, this here is a um, top rated seller. He does have uh, nine dollars and ninety-nine cents on uh, for shipping, and then here you can see um, right here seller information. Uh, he's got one hundred percent feedback on four thousand three hundred fifty-one uh, reviews. So I mean that is great feedback. So this guy can be trusted. Now let's go to the description of this here. You can tell he uh, he sells more stuff, uh, sponsored items from this seller. So looks like he sells quite a bit. Um, and then here you got the description. It explains a little bit on what it is and what it's not. 
All right, so now we got this. Let's look through uh, through some of that. So I typed in the uh, the S seven eleven A, and that's the long handle flex handle uh, flex head. Now look at this one here. I mean, this guy is way overpriced. See that? What a rust bucket. So yeah, and he wants a hundred dollars for that. Well, I don't think so. See this one here. Uh, this guy here wants only one twenty-five. Now what I do here is I'm gonna write the average down. I'll find the average price and the lowest price. So seven eleven A. Already went through it. Um, you know, but between 125 and 150. So now we go to the next one, SL710, right there. So uh, that is on auction right there, hundred dollars, fifty bucks, forty bucks plus uh, nine dollars shipping. So. Uh, zero bids, thirty dollars starting bid. I don't think so. Sixty bucks to plus twelve dollars shipping. As you can tell, some of it is, you know, it's a little bit higher. But um, I did these uh, the SL seven ten, and prices were around thirty to sixty bucks. So, all right. Let's do the next one here, the SL715. <clears throat> um, give me one second here. I'll be right back. All right, sorry about that. So SL715, uh, that is the uh, long straight handle. Um, basically 100 bucks plus uh, ten dollar shipping this one is on auction so some kits to rebuild them but I got a snap-on dealer so I don't have to worry about none of that 80 bucks right here look at that plus free shipping now that's actually a pretty good price eighty two dollars plus eight dollars and fifty cents for shipping so the other one is actually a little better but I wrote down the prices on that and as you can tell uh, between 75 and 90 bucks so between 230 for the lowest of the lowest and 300 now let's get back to our to our guy here with uh, with these ratchets now what you can do is uh, you can put it on the watch list right there now what happens, and I know I know this set of ratchets already, so I know this the listing lasts about 30 days, somewhere in there, um, and then he had them for sale first for $350, and now he dropped his price to $299. So he, you know he already's been sitting on it for a month, and nobody's buying it. So now if you put it on your watch list, uh, eBay is going to send him a message that, uh, hey. There's people watching your item. Uh, send them a discount price in order to sell it. So I just uh, watched, uh, put it on my watch list. Uh, I can even add it to my card. No oh, thanks. So it's in my in my cart right now. Let's go back to this thing here. So it's uh, and now. <clears throat> Now we're going to wait, because if eBay is going to send him a message, hey, there's a couple guys watching your item. Um, if you want to sell your item, give him a discount. Now we're going to wait. Uh, we're going to wait and see if we get that. If he's going to offer that discount, I guarantee you he will, because he's been sitting on it already for over 30 days, and I'm sure he wants to move his product. So, uh, and then when he sends the discount, we can start uh, haggling on the price. So. Let, uh, let's see what happens. I'm going to give this uh, a day or two or so, and then uh, I'll be back, and I'll show you 
if he's going to send me a message uh, with a discount price or not. All right. Well, holy hell, this guy didn't waste no time. So um, here it is. As uh, soon as I um, ended the camera and put the camera up, uh, I got a message from eMay that uh, this seller is uh, sending me a discount price. So uh, he sent the price of uh, 275 bucks right there. Uh, offers expires in within 48 hours, so I've got time to think about it. The shipping is nine dollars and ninety-nine cents. Comes with uh, you know the shipping is through UPS, USPS, and uh, the total will be two hundred and eighty-four dollars and ninety-nine cents. So you can accept offer, uh, make a counter offer, or decline offer. Well, let's make a counter offer. Uh, let's do 200. So, my offer is 200 bucks, uh, one set, uh, because he was offering, you know, he wanted to have $300, which makes sense right here. That's how we came up with that price. So, I'll be right back. Well, sorry about that. I had a customer pull in, so um, we got that squared away. So, anyway, uh, so yeah, um, you know, this way you can understand how we came up with that price, three hundred dollars. So my goal is to stay under two thirty. So let's see if we can make that happen. So um, we offered him uh, two hundred bucks and blah blah blah. So submit offer. There we go. Offer sent. So now we're going to see uh, what uh, what he's going to do. Um, maybe he drops it to 250, or he just declines it, or something like that, or another. If that happens, then I'll just bump my offer up just a smidge to 220 because uh, there is 10 bucks in shipping, and I do not want to pay over 230 bucks because that is the lower end. So that will be my goal. And that's how I figured, uh, you know, that would be a pretty good deal. 230 bucks um, for three ratchets. Um, that comes out to be pretty good, I think. So it would be fair, in my opinion. So, all right. Um, we'll, uh, we'll see what the seller has to say about it. And then uh, we'll just go from there. We'll be back. All right. Um, <laughs> As I suspected, he made a counter offer of uh, 250 bucks. So, all right, let's see if we can make ourselves another counter offer here. So the first one was 290 or 200. So I'm thinking to do 219. What's going on here? Review offer. Make counter offer. There you go, 219 um, plus $9.99 for shipping. It's going to be a total of 228.99. Submit. All right. Now, uh, let's see what he says, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, we'll be back when we get a response. All right, I'm going to end the video here on uh, on the eBay thing, so, yeah. If you like and subscribe, you can see if I uh, if I got a deal hashed out with the fella or not, and uh, you'll see that in a tool haul video. 
um, if I got it or not and if I did for how much so stay tuned on this one so like and subscribe it helps the channel out a lot don't cost nothing and uh, we're gonna catch y'all on the next one peace out